Hello everyone and welcome to Math Mood. In this video I am going to teach you how to calculate square roots. And after this video I swear it would be easy for you. Ok, here we have square root of 20, square root of 28, square root of 45 and square root of 90. But before solving this I want to I want to speak with you about perfect roots. This is the roots which can be calculated easily or you can see it in the table. For example, square root of 1 it would be equal to 1. The next one is square root of 4 it would be equal to 2. The next one square root of 9 it would be equal to 3. The next one, square root of 16, it would be equal to 4. Square root of 25, it would be equal to 5. Square root of 36, it would be equal to 6. Square root of 49, it would be equal to 7. Square root of 64 it would be equal to 8. Square root of 81 it would be equal to 9. And square root of 100 it would be equal to 10. So this is the table roots. We can find it in the table but what about these roots? We don't see this right here. How can we simplify this? Ok, the main idea to simplify this is to represent that number with perfect root and numbers that can be multiplied. Ok, <clears throat> for example, square root of 20 it would be equal to we can represent this 20 using these perfect roots. Square root of 20 is... it would be equal to 2 times 10, but we don't have 2 and 10 right here. So, we can represent it by 4 times 5. And using the law of exponents, it would be equal to square root of 4 times square root of 5. This square root we can see here. It would be equal to. So the answer is 2 times square root of 5. And this is enough. This is an answer. Ok, let's calculate this one. Square root of 28. How can, can we represent this? 28. 2 times 14 is not good. Let's write 4 times 7. Square root of 4 we can calculate. It would be 2. And square root of 7 we can't calculate. Times square root of 7. This is an answer. And do the thing with square root of 45. It would be equal to, we can represent it like 9 times 5. Square root of 9 we can calculate, it would be 3 times square root of 5. This 5 is left. Ok, write square root of 90 in the comment. But we can't Calculate, for example, square root of 17. We can't represent this 17 by perfect roots, so we left this in the same way. We can't simplify these square roots. But these roots, it's, it, it's easy to simplify. So, Thank you for watching. 
See you in the next videos and subscribe for more.